Hello, my name is Abdullah Isani. Well, I was a front-end developer before transitioning to a full bridge. And I was also a comedy sketch writer. I am Samson Manchak. I'm a back-end major developer. I'm a graduate from the University of Studies for Computer Science. Hi, my name is Imango Robin Boji. I'm a, I'll be in a front-end developer building IT solutions to production and then teaching tech enthusiasts all about software development. So my name is Jeffrey Woloko. I'm a front-end group mobile and web engineer with React and Vue and React Native. Mostly with one relevant incident of the University of the Engineering. Hi, my name is Mubarak Takiola Mubaradi. Um, I want to come into Webster Bridge. I have a background in uh, mechanics engineering. Yeah, I focus more on software arts. Ah, my name is Ekarika Unsemeke. All right, so before now, I um, recently, I was a part of ALS Software Engineering program. I completed the 15 months long program to be a software engineer and uh, that was actually the, uh, my, what I was involved with before Web3. Hi everyone, my name is Abigail Nyangasi, but you can call me IJ. I was previously a Web2 developer, JavaScript full stack developer, but now I'm transitioning into Web3 space. Hi everyone, my name is Don Wano, if you can go on it. Um, I'm a front end developer with Google Wine Experience. So, good day, everyone. My name is Kutri. I am actively involved with um, Crenso, uh, Ed Jobs, and Define, and a lot of other stuff. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Fan Jagadi Um Before now, I have been the back end developer. I really want to take um, the challenge of, of building and transitioning into um, something quite different from buying like software. Different. I know Web3 is also software, but I'll be moving to something quite digital. So I was fascinated by how everything works. So I told myself, okay, I want to know how everything works in depth, like taking down streets. That was why I ventured into web shoot. This is talentation and transparency, basically. That's why I love web three. I want to build apps that people will use and it's the future. The reason why I want to be a web three developer is because of the evolution that is happening in the fintech space. So the whole decentralizing the like our financial system, it's 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 a big it's a big win for me and Given the fact that I, I'm coming from a country, Kenya, where M-Pesa has really revolutionized how people view money, how people use money, and the whole transition of cashless money, I believe the fintech space in Kenya is so rich, and I want to be part of that ecosystem. Yeah, now, I, it has always been my passion to 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 go deep into tech, to go deep into programming. Like, I, I I love the numbers, I love the codes, I love how everything just moves. You know, it just has this working effect. And so when I heard about when I got into crypto uh, as at um, around 2020, and I uh, I got into different crypto communities, I love the fact that uh, there were certain people who were developers who. On the, who understood the integrity of blockchain itself, the crypto community, how it was developed, how it just goes up, and so beautiful, you know, the, the, the complexity and all. So since then, I've taken an interest in wanting to advance in tech and go get, um, get as much knowledge as possible. And I mean, Web3 is a very big, is a very big pass, is a, is a, is a very big helper in that. When theory comes with uh, a lot of innovations, we have the massive experience where we talk about um, virtual reality, where we talk about augmented reality, where we talk about metaverse. We have the blockchain aspect where we bring the security, the transparency, simplicity. We have artificial intelligence. So these innovations actually lead me to want to go into bacteria. Uh, so seeing the um, innovation has been carried out in that space and I want to contribute my quota to this space.
I heard of a tree bridge from my mother. And before that, I was actually doing research on how to learn the tree. But out of all the videos I've seen, I've not seen anyone that is educated. So I decided to pick the tree bridge to see if I can actually get something. To be a friend, also I can mentor after I've been here for five. So when you, when you came back and then asked for what the difference between the restroom and then you get tree. And one of the one of the things he said was socialization. And then that's how I how I get to search for what 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 is this decentralization and then I have to decide and then get to know um the the pros and pass the benefits of the retreat and then I was able to um calm my nerves after the knowledge I had. I actually wanted something more and then Attending a conference last year on blockchain, um, I started then was in the idea to venture into blockchain development. Then the question was, how do I go about it? So in another case, there is this guy, an alumni, the man who, you know, who went through the trip which. So there was the one that actually introduced me to what trip which, and then told me what and what I should do in order to actually, you know, Join the community. Hey, but we pretty good from a friend. I don't know what's for this um, program. I made a research online because I actually want to um, register. I actually want to make use of this innovation coming from Web3. So I looked for a, 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 an avenue where I can actually learn this. So looking at, um, say, making my research online, I got to know about the 3 bridge. And then, why would I, why did I choose a third grade? I know that I discovered that one of my great friends he is a mentor here. And then, looking at the standard, I'm um, very sure I, there's nothing short of standard here. So, looking at him, uh, I'm very sure he's picking a third grade is, is, is a fantastic choice for me. I had a wonderful friend who was telling me about this school where they'll, teach, they'll train you to become a web three um, developer and uh, blockchain technology. And he said everyone could be on like you could be on site, you could learn on site. And that is one thing I love so much. I love to be in a community where I can discuss with persons, I can get their insight, I can share my insights, I get to understand their perspective, I can ask questions with the human. So I saw a poster online from a friend, WhatsApp status. They posted about they're looking for two, two people who they can sponsor meals, accommodation, and flights to Lagos so that they can study about with three bridges. So I did a bit of um, ground research and a very close friend of mine, shout out to you, Sharon Jebitok. She's a previous alumni of with three bridge. So I asked her about it, about about the whole transition from Web 2 to Web 3, and I liked the whole idea. And then I applied for for the sponsorship, and I I got it. I, I went about the Philippines since 2022, but um, because of my inexperience, I decided to come down to our experience so I can just, I like doing things once and taking it. I like going once, so that's about it. This is my first time applying. Um, but yeah, because I knew I had thorough experience. Well, I got to know about the from my neighbor, Mr. Lawrence Kumani, which is a star of the Tree Beach, and also the Laguna Lab. Well, I was really, really fascinated about how he talked about, how he talks about the Tree Beach, and he was so passionate about the Tree I think he said that, that this is the place to be, you want to get ahead of others. And the blockchain focus that I'm working, let me give you the shots. I did a web today on Twitter, um, and then I spoke to some of my um, friends around, and also they were they were also interested in web today, and they also had a web today there, web today break before, so we just decided to like um, register. My experience during the my experience during the um, the, asse uh, the assessment was quite challenging because it's been a while I've tried 
any, any anything related to the tax we are given, but I guess as God would have it, I moved to the next stage and here I am now. I, I was excited when I got the mail because I I would say I would say thirty first of December I was I wasn't really myself so I was just out of out of the internet. I just I just want to be alone. So first I got I actually saw the mail first of first of January and wow I was happy that I got it. Yes, uh, it was pretty intense because of the question I'm tired. Everything was tired, and I I managed to stay true. Uh, but I was confident of the work I did. At the interview, it was the most intense part because um, although I, I had hadn't been to any of the branch, I was the first virtual interview which I was pretty tense was what I managed to overcome the tension and I did uh, so after the interview I was I was pretty bit tense of uh, ah let me get to the three major roads but I was like I think it was kind of was if it's meant for me to be part of the I was showing it so the results came out on that first of last year December, I got to know that I have a choice to come with sight. So I was pretty excited about the story. During the selection process, it was actually normal. I did the, I did the quiz and then I got picked and the interview was actually normal as it should be. Um, then I was finally chosen, like, I was happy. I was just everyone to be, I was okay and it's my experience the interview phase was a bit easy the whole online assessment since i'm coming from a background of react jazz i've been writing draft for the, like, the past three years so it wasn't really a big deal for me but the actual interview was a bit intense i felt like i'm doing like an actual job interview and my experience was great so when i got the the email that I've been chosen to join with three bids, I was so excited. But the exciting part was when I was selected by the Kenyan team to come represent Kenya in Nigeria. And I was among the, the scholarship recipients for the whole, they were covering for my flight, for my meals, and, and shout out to Kenya blockchain ladies for making it happen. And it was intense, it was intense. and. At that point, when it gave me so much problem, even the uh, at home, it was felt at home, and everyone who was was carried that much. Uh, 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 my my ambience was overflowed to everyone in the house, and you know. So when I later got the mail that you 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 gone to the next step, like it was like a miracle. It was like God still does miracle, and, and like my dream is actually coming to pass. When the mail came and I saw the assessment, even with my experience, I was like, wow, they expected me to complete this thing in two hours. I said, wow, I'm up to it. So I started working on it and then the process was, it was, it was, it was a bit um, difficult, but I was up to task. And then for me to move to the next day, because submitting my assessment, I was a bit hopeful. When, when, my, when the result came out, I was so happy. And then I was moved to the interview stage. Then I did the interview. The select process was decent. Already had from the end of um, familiarity with React. So, yeah, and, um, attempting the assessment was not really a problem. I felt very excited when I got chosen for the program. Did the test, you know, about interview. And then the tension or the suspense was, you know, awaiting the, you know, acceptance email to come. So on the first, I received that um, acceptance email and I felt so, so happy about it. I was nervous actually. I was, I was nervous. And then at the point I was like, should I even apply for this? But then a friend keeps encouraging you that they just apply and then we meet the leg on. That was, that was, that was the word that said, we meet the my experience during the process of getting the exam it was kind of tense because the assessment tests we were given to do 
Um, we have no power issues that time, so I won't take it so many time. I had to sort of that out. Uh, some kind of you. I wasn't expecting to be chosen because I felt as if me submitting uncompleted projects, I won't be chosen to be a part of the Bay Bridge. So I was amazed and shocked at the same time. Within 16 weeks, my expectation for the program is to be a smart contract developer. I should be able to sell an award, sell my viable because of the rigorous training that we've passed through there. The series of so much training, so much impact. So at the end, I see myself becoming uh, a smart contract developer. To be one of the best local developers and then to contemplate my quota to the ecosystem. Sometimes we don't struggle to you know, put projects online, blockchain projects online. Integrating blockchains, uh, blockchain technology uh, to solve solutions to bring about advanced, um, advanced solutions and an existing uh, solutions that we're developing. I expect to be able to write smart contract. I expect to be able to build uh, my own kind of community, blockchain community. So my expectations for, for this program, um, I'm hoping to be a fully web, fully blockchain developer. And aside from that, um, I'm hoping to have like broken into the blockchain space where uh, I'll be like contributing and not just being a um, consumer, more of the creation side of things. And aside from that, I, I want to be part of those who revolutionize how the fintech space is and specifically the blockchain space in Africa and the whole of the world. I'd like to carry that flag. I expect to become a smart contract developer, a blockchain developer, and also transition from web to and become a very good developer. I, I, I hope to achieve a lot. Achieve a lot. And one of those things I want to achieve is I want to be a world class smart contract developer and also want to impact positively on my community. He just wants to be market ready and also meet new people, create a network and collaborate. Thank you.